Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share a free and amazing iOS app for your iPhone that is 100% free and allows you to read, annotate, edit, share, sign, and convert PDF files. It's called PDF Element, and it's by Wondershare. Now, the fact that this app is free is incredible as it offers desktop class PDF manipulation capabilities right on your iOS device. It is also fully cloud connected so you can download or upload files from places like Dropbox or Google Drive. I'll drop a link to the app in the description box below so you can go download it right away. And of course, like I said, it is free to grab. Now let's dive in and highlight some of the great features of this app one by one. All right, so let's take a look at the PDF Element iOS app. So if you launch it, it takes you to your local storage. And as you can see, I have a bunch of folders here. I have a bunch of files. So these are the PDF files. Uh, these are a bunch of folders. In this folder, for example, I have my an, an ebook here, The Count of Monte Cristo. And if you go back here, uh, you'll see that this is a local storage. And I'm just gonna quickly show you how to switch between local storage and cloud storage. So if you tap this icon here, uh, you can go to the cloud storage. And as you can see, with the cloud, you have access to iCloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and Box. So you can either download or upload files directly to these different areas. So let's go back over here to my uh, main local storage. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to convert a PDF file into a, for example, a Word document. That is one of the features of this app. You can do document conversion from PDF to just about anything. So let's say this one over here, the test PDF file. So this is just a user guide. It's just a copy of the actual user guide for the PDF element. Let's go back out. So all you do is tap the settings icons on the right side over here, and that brings up a menu. And as you can see, you can do conversions. You can move it, you can copy it, you can upload it to any of your cloud storage accounts, and you can also email and print. But as far as convert is concerned, you just tap convert and boom, you get this maximum menu over here that allows you to convert this PDF file to any format that you desire. You can do Word documents, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, XML, HTML, whatever. You get the idea. So that functionality is in fact built into this iOS app. And the next important thing that we do all the time, especially uh, professionals, is to sign documents. So let's uh, pull up this file over here that says sign. So this is just a blank file here just to show you how it works. But let's say this was a complete document and you just read the entire thing and you're ready to sign. All you do is tap the toolbar icon over here, which brings up the toolbar, and then tap on the actual signature icon. And then I have a existing signature that I can simply add to it. Or if you're brand new, if you're using this for the first time, let me just delete that. So. Uh, when you tap on delete, it allows you to create a new signature. So I basically sign here. Let's, let me just create a fake signature here. And again, I can change the colors and I can change the thickness. But let's just use this for now. If you don't like what you just did, you can tap on delete and restart. But again, let me just give you an example. So red color here. So there you go. Okay. And then I click OK. And that becomes my signature. Now, after I sign a document, I can actually increase the size of that. I can delete that signature or I can add a note to that signature. So that's how easy it is to sign the document. So you tap wherever you want and boom. Now, because I just made the signature, I'm just going to give you one more example. If I tap this again, it says basically uh, it brings up the same signature I just used. All right. So if I tap it, it just drops it in place. And of course, I can move to this to precisely where I want it to. So don't be, uh, don't be scared if the signature drops to some other area. You can just grab it and put it exactly uh, where you want that signature to go. Okay, And if you don't want a signature, you can delete that signature. So that's how easy it is to sign documents with PDF elements. All this is happening for free. Now let's go back and take a look at some of the other options that we use all the time. So what you can do is you can annotate documents. You can also edit documents professionally. So first, let's do the annotation on an ebook. So let's go to ebooks. That's the folder. And let's just tap on this Count of Monte Cristo ebook. And as you can see, I've been already annotating these, uh, this document just for, uh, for fun. But let's go to a clean page here. And let's say that I want to annotate this area for three months. All you do, again, is tap on that toolbar and then choose the annotate icon here. 
and then choose a color that you want to annotate with. Let's just do uh, red, all right? And then basically just go over here and go like that for three months. Boom, okay, I missed the F, but that's not a big deal. You can fix that. So if you uh, miss annotate something, you tap on it again, and you can simply delete it, all right? So that's fantastic. And then I'm sure you notice that there's a lot of things going over here. You can also underline or strike through documents. So if I wanted to underline something, again, I tap this thing over here. That's the underline option. And I can pick a color. Let's just go with, uh, with blue over here. And then let's say I want to underline this area. I just go like that. And it now underlines that area. All right. So that's fantastic. So that's how easy it is to annotate any document. You can annotate ebooks or you can annotate uh, official files. Now let's uh, go over here. Let's, um, let's just launch this user guide over here. I'm going to show you one more thing. This is just a user guide that came with the actual app. So you can actually go through everything over here. Uh, let's say that I want to edit something on a given PDF file. You can do that as well. All you do is tap this icon and that's the edit icon. It automatically selects everything that is editable and then you can tap over there and you can start to make these modifications. So let's say I don't want that uh, enter over there, the word, so I can take that off. Okay, this is absolutely fantastic and all this is happening for free. So I'm able to edit documents, annotate documents, sign documents, convert documents, and of course uh, I can also uh, upload documents or download documents from anywhere. So again, if you want to upload any one of these documents, after you're done with it, you just tap here. Uh, you can upload it. So if I tap this guy, it will take me to these options. I can go to Google Drive and just upload it there after I set up the account. Or I can even just share this with a, with a, uh, with a colleague. Okay, so I can tap this and that brings up the sharing options from here. Again, you can copy, share, email and all that good stuff. So everything is available. And one thing I forgot to mention that I personally use all the time is you can also add notes to your PDF files and collaborate with other people. So if, uh, if I launch this sign over here, again, if I tap the toolbar, uh, I can actually add a note anywhere I want or even add a stamp. So let's just tap on the note and let's tap right here. And let's just say, hi, this is a note. Okay, and then click done. So that note just stays there for anybody to access when you share this file. So again, I can put this uh, anywhere I want. I like the fact that you can use everything. So I can put it right here. It's going to allow me to tap on it and I can tap on open and it shows the actual note, what's inside that note. And I can even edit that. So it's a nice way, way to uh, collaborate with people. All right, so that's everything. And of course, you can modify this local storage area. So if I tap this here, uh, you can delete folders. I can delete that folder if I didn't need it. Uh, if I wanted to add a folder, I can just click this add a folder and I can just add a new folder. OK, so the customization is incredible. So just click that and now we're good to go. And I can also use the camera. I can click this plus icon and I can use the camera to take a picture of a document and that's going to convert that into a PDF file. Uh, this is great for receipts or some other uh, official documents or even non-official documents that you just want to save onto your phone. So if I go to the user guide here, uh, you will see that the option, it says image to PDF. So it takes a camera of the actual image and that converts that into a, uh, a file, all right, which is absolutely great. Uh, so that's an option that you have. All you do again is click the plus icon, tap on camera. And then that brings up the camera. It will uh, bring up the camera. As you can see, it's sitting flat, so you can't see anything right now. But you can actually uh, dump in any file that you want using the camera. So that's basically um, a highlight of all the features uh, you can do. There's so much more going on here, just so you know. Like if I tap on test and, uh, you know, if I tap on this toolbar, you have a bunch of options. The app is free, so you can go download it and uh, just test everything out and see if you like it. Uh, you, you know, it's, uh, you're not losing anything. So that's the PDF elements. If we tap this icon here, you can also go to your uh, account and you can add a picture, you can add your name and all that good stuff. Uh, I recommend that you open an account 
uh, with PDF Elements website, which you can do on your phone, so you have access to these things. And uh, of course, creating an account also gives you some premium features that you don't get if you did not have an account. All right, so that is a PDF Element uh, by Wondershare, available for free for the iOS app. Links to download the app are down in the description box below, so go check it out.